What's going on, everybody? We are back for another episode. Today, we are going over everything that came out in update 27.2, or just the update for July of 2020. Now, there were a few things that came out, and a few things people don't know about, so let's get into this. So, to start off, nothing new on the home screen, just fairly simple stuff, but if you go to the fight screen, they have a new layout here, which I personally have mixed feelings about. I like it, but I don't like it. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but one of the things that is bugging me right now is it pops up with this one notification, and it's nowhere on here. It is for Alliance Quest, but they need to, if they're going to have those notifications, they need to pop up by the thing, so that's the one thing I have to say that could be fixed, but other than that, it's fairly nice. Um, Alliance, they have gotten rid of, this happened a little bit before, but they got rid of the um, treasury tab. So that's gone. Um, in the crystal tab, there's nothing new in here except for the new featured crystal, which I highly recommend going for, FYI. Um, then we have champions over here. With the champions, we now have the buffed version of Hulkbuster. So that's awesome. And then we also have Let's see, what are the, uh, you go tech and mystic, and we go unowned here. We now have Sasquatch, and is Red Guardian, oh, I have Red Guardian now, I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, the, so we have Sasquatch that came out, and we have Guardian. So those are the two new champions for this month. Um, if you do log in, you get a free three-star Red Guardian, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, nothing new in the inventory, I'm going to skip that, and nothing new in the store. But the one thing that a lot of people have missed out on in this update and don't re don't realize is here. If you go to your profile, you have Edit Alliance Champions. And I know I probably shouldn't show this because people, people know what my champions are, but they already know my roster, so I don't care. Um, you can put in your attack roster um, your war defense, your war defenders, and alliance quests. So what I what I did is for war attackers and alliance quests, they're both fairly um, similar. Um, what I did was I basically went down and anybody that I would even like think about putting in um, in an alliance uh, quest or war in a war attack, I would I put in. Even if I use them in questing and stuff, I just put in anybody I would use. War Defenders, same thing. I'm going to discard that because I, I want it back the way it was. Um, and Alliance Quest. So I didn't go, okay, War Attackers. This is who I use all the time. And just put in those three. I put in a list of people I would use. That way, um, the leader of my Alliance, which is one of my buddies, and just friends can see, okay, this is his, what he can use out of. He can use people out of this. In War Defender, same thing. You don't just put in um, the people you always use. You put in. I don't want to save that. You put in every champ that you might use. So that that's my recommendation. But I just want to let people know that that is here now. Uh, we also have fast add fully remaining empty slots for champions based on the other hearing. I did not know about that. But um, yeah, that is new in the game. So that's pretty much it for this update. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I just wanted to let people know about that. But if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, like the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below if there's anything I missed. I don't think there is, but there might be. So make sure to comment down below, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.